Hello, hello, Mary Time Zone friends. It's Matt here today, bringing you another episode of Ghost at Dawn. Today, I am determined to get to the end of the story. I feel like we are so close, and all I really have to do is get past the boss battle that was kicking my butt before. So I have a very vague battle plan, and we're going to see if we can pull it off today. So without further ado, grab your covers and settle in. So we had a lot happening last episode. The biggest thing being that we lost Ben. And by we, I mean I, because I suck. So that's unfortunate, but we do have Yuhiko and we're absolutely going to make sure that she stays alive now. Like, Yuhiko, we got you, girl, and we're gonna find your sister. If you were here last episode, you will know that it ended very abruptly when I ran out of bullets because I couldn't beat the boss. I have since spoken to the dev and some other creators and I have a bit of a plan. I'm not sure how many times we're gonna have to do it, but you never know. Right, maybe I'll just suddenly get it first chance. Highly doubtful, but I'm going to go into this with a positive attitude. I'm having such a blast with the story, and I know at the time of recording this that a massive, massive update is about to hit, so we're going to try and finish the story today before that comes. It is going to affect past saves at that point, so we have to finish it today. I think we're really close. We know that this guy had Emmy at one point, potentially really, really recently, so we need to beat his ghost, get through to that other room, and hopefully we'll be able to find out where she went. Once we've completed the story, I'm going to be so excited to go and do some speed runs, go through some of these things and try and just beat my time try and keep Ben alive but for right now let's get back in and focus on Yuhiko we have got to beat this boss so let's get in Yuhiko Kosuke resumes her search for her sister hey Yuhiko how you doing so obviously, as you can see, zero bullets in any of our guns. I have just seen this little bit of text. I don't know if this is new, but Yuhiko says my ex had one of these. He liked to hunt. Cool. So the advice that I had, and this is going to seem a little backwards, but just trust me here. If we go to this menu over here, it says, should I leave the Pines Hotel? Leaving or dying are the only ways to win the game. I have heard I can leave and then resume the investigation and it will give me bullets. So we're going to try it because at this point, there's nothing else I can do anyway, so let's click yes and see what happens. Okay, so we've got credits rolling. I am going to skip this for now just because I, I want to have a look at this later. Like, we'll watch the credits properly through when we actually finish. But this is our final screen. This is what I actually, like, we're not going to count any of these stats right now because... We still haven't finished the story, but this is what we will be reviewing once we get to the end of the first run. You can get up to, I believe, grade S, and if you get grade S, you get a little special something, I believe. We're going to try and get an S rank at some point, but for now, we're going to hit the restart button. Let's see if we can reload back in. Hopefully, we'll be at the same spot that we left, and hopefully, we have some bullets, and we'll give up boss fight another go. Okay, we have 30 bullets, and we have some meds as well. Now, I'm fairly certain that 30 bullets is not going to be enough to beat him, so I'm going to try and do a little cheeky thing here. I'm going to see if this is going to work. If it doesn't, then it's fine. We'll just have to try it with 30, and we'll just have to get good. Okay, reloading in a second time does not give us more bullets. We have 30. We're going to have to make that be enough. So I guess it's time to go back upstairs then. We're going to crack on straight with this boss fight. I want to get through this today. The only way to get to the end is through. We're going to have to make 30 bullets work. I can't make any more spawn. I've checked everywhere as far as I'm aware on the map. So 30 is going to have to be enough. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Rot in hell and stay there, you fucking monster. Um. That was both incredibly cool and really confusing. How did I have so much trouble with that before? I literally used seven bullets and only six of them hit him. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how I struggled with that so hard last time, but here we are. We beat him. Yay. Let's go. 
The glass door is locked. Okay, so what do we do now? We've beat this evil son, bitch. Now, I am curious if we can get in here, but I don't know how we would. We still have a bunch of coloured keys, and I've got no idea what they're for. Let's go back downstairs. Maybe there's something down there that we've missed. Now that we've beaten him, I might have triggered something else to kick in. Hello? Any creatures out here? Anybody who wants to tell me where to go? Um? Well, that's not correct. Where's the lobby? Hello? Uh... Okay, I guess we just walk. Any ghosties in here? Oh, this this is so atmospheric, dude. Please. It's like liminal space creepiness to the max. <gasps> oh! That's a tibby. Hey, Ayumi. <gasps> oh! Okay, um, good thing we've got meds. I hope I didn't shoot you too much in your ghost form, Ayumi. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we get back in the lift. I tried to go down to the ground floor before and it didn't work, so maybe, maybe now I can actually go there? Okay, we're on the ground floor. Has anything changed down here? Ben's body's still here. I don't remember if we finished everything in the basement area. So we're going to go through the secret passageway. Go down and just make sure we've cleared everything out from there. Because I'm not entirely sure where else I'm supposed to go, but seeing giant Ayumi, maybe I'm supposed to go down to where she was. There's an elevator here. I didn't realise I could get the lift down here. Now though, we're going to go down to this horrid area down here. <sighs> oh shit. I pressed the wrong button. I was meant to get the light because it wouldn't let me through the door and I just took meds. Oh, oh well. Hey Ayumi, did you want me to come down here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. You got me a second time with that one. So, so great and good. Love that for me. It's interesting this little glitch that I'm finding now. It's it's literally it's not a problem. But I have these four keys here and every time I come in and out, Ben's dog tags are hiding underneath this key. It's really odd. Red, blue, black and green key. I don't know what these are for. I really am so confused by them. Right, well let's put this uh let's put the pistol away. We'll put the matches away. We'll put the meds away. And we'll take these keys with us. Let's just go try some different things. See whether or not we can find what this is actually for. Because we needed a key to be able to get into the bedroom of the um the, the boss. But it didn't tell us what kind of key we needed, and I didn't see any other like no other places for one. I've had a really silly thought. Yes, it's incredibly silly. Okay. Because I was like, oh, this statue's blue and this one's green. Maybe I can use the green key on it. And no, nothing. <laughs> oh, that's why I couldn't get these things before. It's because it was... Ugh. Fine. Thank you. I just assumed that was just backed up onto that. I didn't realize I could go behind it. I have some cool stuff now. Glass door is locked. I don't see a keyhole or a hat. Hang on. Wow. That took me so long to figure out. Ugh. Well, we're in. Hello. The statue of Josephine, old god of wronged women. 
Oh, that explains so much. Okay, but Josephine looks heckin' badass. If this guy wasn't such an asshole, I'd be like, yeah, cool. Understand that statue. It's pretty neat. Uh, I'm scared. Can I interact with anything in the fireplace? This is the only room in the building with nice photographs in it. I finally acquired the statue of Josephine. According to folklore, she's the old god of the unreal. Spirits of vengeance for wronged women. She raises the dead to seek their revenge on the living, often during the break of the morning light. Because of this, she is also known as the Ghost at Dawn. Legend says she was felled by the sword of a righteous man who wished to stop the endless cycle of vengeance. The blade, called the Ghost Edge, was also included in the auction. Its value is incalculable. I keep it hidden with my most precious possessions. Okay, first of all, they said the thing! They said the Ghost at Dawn thing, where they, the thing where they put the title in it. Oh, oh my god, this explains so much. Josephine, perhaps she wasn't here before. The hotel was running as normal. He bought this statue of Josephine, and being the vengeful spirit for wronged women, it came into this place where there are very many wronged women, and it brought her spirit forth from it. That's probably why she's here, because he bought the statue. Now the question is, did he sell Emmy for this statue? Or was this something that he got before? I'm very curious. But, felled by the blade called the Ghost Edge, kept with his quote, precious possessions. Now I remember him saying that Emmy was his most prized possession. And I did think there was something in Ayumi's room that was glowing earlier on. I think I know where we have to go. I'm gonna go down and check where the girls are. There's potential that this Ghost Edge blade might be down there. I don't even know if that's an item that we can get, but that's the closest thing to a, a cue for where to go next that I've had so far. So that's locked. Hey Josephine, we heckin' love you. Such a queen. Alright, let's go. I know this is a long way to run on a hunch, but I'm gonna do it, honestly. I don't know of any other thing that I can do right now that that might be referencing. I still don't know what the coloured keys are for. That's the only other thing that I've got which is like outstanding, so we're gonna go down to the girls. I think that's the only way that I can possibly proceed. Just let me down this awful hallway so we can just let this nightmare end. We need to- we need to finish this so we can get these ghosts out of here. Like, these girls deserve to rest. Josephine, her- she's done her work. She deserves to rest as well. What is that that Ayumi's holding? That's what's confusing me. Is that just another girl? Oh, maybe that's another girl's hair, actually. Ugh. Oh, I hate this so much, but... I'm... This was the only clue that I had. Oh, this is a great story, but man, am I not smart enough to know how to figure this last bit out. Like, I'm so here for this story of revenge. Having these assholes like Vance and Yamamoto, having them, like, get their utter comeuppance. Especially if the Josephine statue being sold for Emmy is what got her here. That would be, the, like, the ultimate fuck you, wouldn't it? You know, like... <laughs> Oh fuck. Okay, we are low on sanity. It's taken a little while, but we got there, so... Drinking! Gotta love drinking on the job. Two hours later. Oh! Jesus Christ! Well, I found what the keys are for. I ran all over the hotel trying different things and it was in the room that I started in. Typical, but we figured it out. Green key. Blue key. Red key. Here we go. Last key. Black one. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to just in case get my gun out. Looks like a stock of non-perishable food. Oh, I'm really worried. There's- well, there's the sword. There's the ghost edge. Before I touch it, though, I'm- Oh! <gasps> Emmy! I kind of wish I'd picked up the sword, but- Emmy! I got you, honey! 
Let me grab the sword before I forget. This sword is freaking beautiful, by the way. I love katanas. Just when they're all done up properly, like with the hilt. Oh. I'm not afraid. Not afraid of you anymore. I got my sister and we're going home. Let's go, Emmy. Can I talk to her? No. Okay, you can't interact with her. Oh. Um. Emmy? Oh, do I have to defeat Josephine? How do I... How do I attack? There we go. Oh, it's slow to hit. Come on, Emmy. Get down off that edge. We're going home, honey. I'm sorry, Josephine. I know you were just here to defend the girls, but... We have to go home. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so awful. I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you've just witnessed. I didn't... I didn't know that she was gonna jump. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. So if you lose the fight, Emmy goes over the edge. Oh god. Oh, at least we still have the sword. Back we go. Let's get this over and done with. I am adoring this game. There's so many good things about it. And one of the good things is the fact that it knows how to tell a hard fucking story. And Jesus, this story is hard. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going until we save Emmy. That's all we can do. We got the sword. Now, I'm sorry, Josephine, but your work is done and it's time for you to go. The thing that interests me is that he said he had to sell her to get the statue. At least that's what I assumed. So how is she still here? I wonder if maybe he bought the statue and they're waiting to buy Emmy. That maybe that was the trade, but I don't know. It doesn't matter now. Okay, so you can't hit her while she's moving, or at least you have to be really accurate if you do. It just takes so long to start anything. Like to get the hits off. You really have to be like right on top of her to hit that. Get closer. Oh, come on. Come on, Yuhiko. This is such a hard fight, dude. You really, you really have to be accurate with those hits. You have a really slim margin. I have to say, probably the most annoying thing about this whole thing is having to run back up to the, the bloody penthouse each time. Alright, run number three. We're learning. Run. Okay, four hits. Five. That's not close enough. Go, hit her. Six. Run. Come on, Yuhiko. Quickly, quickly. Oh, sh Josephine. Stop it. I'm trying to... I'm trying to win for my sister, please! Stop it! Yes, there we go. Good morning, Ghost of Dawn. Oh. Oh, the entire color palette changed. Hey, Emmy. I'm sorry I let you fall off twice, but we got there in the third one. When we cut to the lobby, don't look at Ben. When we go through here, you don't have to look at him. But we're going to go home. Let's go. Oh, God. Look at her. She's fucking exhausted. This is this is enough to give you like lifetime trauma. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm sorry, Ben, that I wasn't able to keep you alive, but I mean, oh, if there is such a thing as an afterlife, I hope you know that we managed to do it. Oh, there's birds. 
It must be morning then. We must have broken through morning. Alright, let's go down to the lobby then. This has been such a beautiful game. There's literally, there's so many things about this that I could just rave about. Oh, wow. Okay, I, why am I actually going to cry though? just all of the girls just leading us home. I'm not crying, you're crying. And hopefully they can all rest now. <laughs> oh Jesus, mother of... Well, I should have seen that coming. Right, let's actually watch the credits this time because... We skipped through it last time because we haven't finished the game, but we're done now and we can actually let all of this go through. We can celebrate all of these wonderful people that have worked on this and make this such an absolutely fantastic experience. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this and we'll do some speed runs. Like, we're not done with this game. Let me know your thoughts on this story though. Like, for this dev's first main game like this, Knowing that there are so many more to come, it's just... Oh. I'm so glad I got to share this with you all. Ben O'Hara will return in Date With A Night. We do have the date for that now. I am here for that. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. If it's anything like this game, it's going to be so so cool like this dev has done incredible work on this and has an absolutely bright future in front of them like give them lots of love i'm gonna be i'm gonna be spamming their twitter like please 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 go and show them how much you have, have loved this because i have loved this check the dumb waiter grade a we're gonna go and have a look 12 deaths we're gonna have to try and get a no death run at some point we destroyed 118 ghosts fired 478 rounds oh wow at least a hundred of those probably more went into the, into uh, Yamamoto um, we did it in under four hours though so I guess that's something all right let's go and have a look at the down waiter and then we'll close out with some final thoughts okay we're back in we're going straight to the down waiter because it said to go and check it and I want to know what's awaiting us oh what is this a blue-green triangular prism. Can I equip it? I can't use it here. What is that for? I can't think of anything that that would fit in. Like a missing piece to something? I don't know what that is. If you have any ideas of what that might be, let me know in the comments and we'll go and check it out next time before we start a new run. My major apologies, Benjamin O'Hara, for letting this happen to you, but we found Emmy. It's over. Well, for now hopefully we'll go and give him a proper burial but let's go back to the main menu and let's just discuss our thoughts about this so this truly has been one of my favorite gaming experiences in a very long time every time i finish a part i've been so excited to come back and do more like there's literally a, there's there's so little that i could actually fault in this like yeah there's a couple of little minor glitches and in some cases for somebody like me who's not necessarily that good of a gamer to be fair um some of the combat was a little bit more difficult but i think once you figure out the timing on certain things then things really do just kind of get easier it's, it's just a whole learning curve it's a whole different combat system for me for trying so especially with that sword where it takes so long to swing then it has the recovery time and then you have to run to go and get back to where she is it takes a moment to figure it out but once you can get it like we we got there it took three tries it's better than like the four or five or six that it took for yamamoto but i'm surprised we got through that so quickly at the beginning of this episode i guess we just figured out how to get good so yay I'm so here for more of this. I love the art, I love the music, the concept, the character art, and knowing how much is coming in the update. I'm, I'm excited for the future of this game. I'm excited for the future of horror business. It's going to be a wild ride to be a part of, and I would love for you to be a part of it coming forwards. If you want to see us do some more Ghosts at Dawn, I'd say let me know, but I'm going to do it anyway. So all I'm going to say is, if you want to see more, 
strap in because it's going to be coming. We're going to be doing some speed runs. We're going to try and keep Ben alive. We're going to try and get an S rank. It's going to be amazing. There is a speed run record at the moment, which I think is just shy of 30 minutes. If you think you can beat it, go ahead and give it a go. Like, go buy this game, please. There have been some sales recently. There might be another one soon, but even if there's not, this is worth every single penny at full price. The first run, I have got at least four hours of gameplay out of just, just by doing it one time. There's so much replayability, the story is incredible, as hard as it is to listen to, and it's, it is hard. And that's one other thing I have to commend the, the devs for here, is it's a difficult story, but they were not afraid to tackle it. And not just that, it wasn't just, here's a hard story, be sad about it. It's, here's a hard story, be sad about it, and now know that revenge has been taken, the people who caused the pain, they've had their comeuppance. And that lineup of girls at the end, I almost bawled my eyes out because it's them almost saying, we didn't make it out, but you can. And that was so, so powerful at the end. I'm so here for more. I really, I'm, I'm literally, I'm so excited for the future of this game. Please, please go and give some love to Blue and Red over on Twitter. And if you haven't wishlisted the game, please go and do so. And the same for Date with the Night, it really helps them out. There are some really good things coming. And I am... Um, literally so so happy to be a part of this thank you again blue and red for making me an official creator this has been a wonderful experience to enjoy with you thank you so much for watching this series up until now keep your eyes peeled for some more ghost of dawn content that will be coming at some point soon but until then thanks for watching leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below and remember it's always tea time summer in the world bye bye